How is it going everyone? It's the detective back again with another video and today I'm going to be reviewing another Bakugan Armored Alliance triple pack because Geogun Rising stuff still isn't here yet. You know, it shouldn't be here theoretically until like February or January. However, in a few areas it's actually been releasing and unfortunately my area is not included so <laughs> I still have some other fusion packs that I want to catch up on. So as you can see on the top, we actually get uh, Fangs or Mantanoid, Hydra's Batrix, and then Trox Ex Nobilius. Uh, Hydra's Batrix is a really great design, and these two designs here, Trox Nobilius and Fangs or Mantanoid, I don't actually own yet. So this is going to be my first time, you know, opening them up and messing around with them, and I'm very excited since both of them look fantastic. You can see them down there, and then in the back, just nothing on the back basically. So yeah, without further ado, I'll crack this open and let's take a look at the three Bakugan that we get inside. And here's everything that we get. Of course, the cards, Gate Trainer, Cores, and Bakugan. Let's begin with Trox X Nobilius. All right, yeah, this this ball form looks this it looks really really good. I love the colors. It looks it looks like a Baku tech. You know, there's a little bit of purple on the head and the arms and side, but like especially with the the general smoothness of the ball form, just the gold and the silver here, it really looks like a Baku tech. I, I love it. I love these fusion colors. So yeah, let's actually roll this out and take a look at how he unfolds. And here he is. And you know, the, the popping open wasn't the most impressive because he didn't fully flip over. Maybe I rolled it wrong, but I did line up the arrow and everything. But like this design is really, really cool. You know, I know a lot of people were hating on this and like, like, this is so much better than anything that we would have gotten in Legacy. If this was, if, if Trox was in Legacy, if we had a dinosaur Bakugan in Legacy, it, it wouldn't have looked, it would not have looked this good. Like, this, it's really, really so impressive. I know he's got these big legs, but I just, I just like to kind of imagine that this is part of his body, and then the only section that are his actual legs are just the feet right here, and, uh, you know, these kind of fold in and they push up. The arms, I actually thought were separate, but when I actually took them out of the package, I realized that they're just molded onto this whole entire kind of head section. So the way that it works, it's really quite cool. You fold this back, kind of reminds me of the Feral Gillator, and then these pieces just come in and then they line up perfectly like so. And that's really, really cool, I like that. Now, there is some purple, and I'll be honest, I'm not big on the purple. Despite being a darkest Bakugan, you know, in the, in the ball form, he's got so much gold and so much silver, and of course those elements are retained you know, just on the wings and then on the, the legs or whatever. But uh, I feel like there should have been just a little bit of purple on the ball form. Nonetheless, I do love the green. The green is re really, really cool, especially on the teeth. I love that. And honestly, the Trox fusions have both been really good. I think like last week um, I reviewed, actually, I think it was exactly a week ago, like last Wednesday, I reviewed the Trox X, uh, Trox X Cyrus Core. And then here we have the Ultra, uh, Trox X Nobilius, and it, it frankly looks really, really cool. So let me actually pull out the card. Here it is. Uh, not the biggest fan of the art, but you know, it's there. And this one already does not look too good because it's double green fist and 206. Three to fuse though, will it redeem itself? Uh, yeah. I mean, it gets the 1450, but you gotta have three energy to fuse it. So like if, if Basically, you have to roll it turn three, or you have to be able to fuse it turn three and then just use up all three of your energy to make it even a little bit decent, because 206 is just trash. Oh man, I really wanted this to be good, but oh well, the art does look very cool though. So next up, we have Fangzor X Mantanoid, and this one is actually native with Aquos Ventus. However, I actually saw that one in a store local to me. Well, it's not... It's not super local, but I saw it in a somewhat local store. But I decided not to pick it up because I honestly wasn't the biggest fan of how it looked. And well, I got one here and I haven't popped it open, but I'm already getting vibes of the original both Fangzor and Mantanoid. And that's really cool, you know, the core versions of Fangzor and Mantanoid. When you hold it like this, it looks a lot like Fangzor because you can kind of see the two halves, you know, top and bottom like Fangzor core. But then when you hold it like this, you can kind of see the little mantanoid, like, uh, what are those, like the pincers, the uh, the arms? I don't even know my terminology that well, but I really love how this ball form, even in the ball form, it's reminiscent of both the core fangs or and core mantanoid ball forms. So, uh, yeah, let's pop this guy open. Oh, that is, dude, that looks so cool. Wow. That looks really far, like, that looks really much, much better than I expected. 
honestly, wow, okay. When it comes to actually paying homage to the original Bakugan, you know, like, Trox X Nobilius here is a great design, but he doesn't really look like Trox Ultra in terms of the general proportions, and he doesn't really look like Nobilius Ultra either. Uh, in terms of general proportions. But with Fangs Armantinoid, he looks like a perfect combination of the two Bakugan. Not to say that this is bad, you know, I love the unique ideas, but I really, I don't know who came up with this design, you know, on the Spin Master, like, design team, but it looks really good. Uh, I love how the head kind of looks like Mantinoid, but then the body itself is like Fangzor. You got the little things at the front here. Ooh, they fold back, that's really neat. And yeah, that, there's that. Let's actually take a look at the card here. Ooh, I love the art. Okay, Magic Shield, Shield, not bad. 600 to, oh, 6 to Fuse. That's some, oh, that, that art is really cool. I love how it kind of highlights the, uh, the bright green eyes on the head. I like how they uh, kept that on the card art. 1,308, you know. Like, this one right here is basically, like, about as good as this. Because, sure, you're paying 3 more energy, but it's base 1,300. This one's only 1,300 on a green fist. It has better cores. And sure, it's 6 to fuse, but 602 is better than 206. Uh, yeah. So anyway, let's move on to the next Bakugan, which is Hydrus X Batrix. Bam, here's Hydrus X Batrix. I actually took a look at the Aqua's Darkest version of this guy, uh, like, earlier last week as well. So be sure to check that video out. Uh, I'll have my Bakugan playlist linked down below. I, I always link my Bakugan playlist, so be sure to check that out. But nonetheless, you guys know I already love this design. The color scheme looks pretty cool. Not too big on the orange. I feel like the orange and the gold kind of contrast a bit. But seeing gold with this Aquos color scheme is actually really dope. And bam, there it is. And ooh, I love the silver claws and the silver teeth. That looks really cool. Again, I'm not... I actually do not like the orange, but I feel like... Other than that, this looks this looks super killer. I love the silver on the head as well. And again, you know, I've looked at this design before, but let's actually take a look at the card. And ooh, this is interesting. It's uh, the actual Bakugan has this blue plastic. It would kind of make you think that it's an Aquos base with an Auralis when it's fused, but no, it's actually an Auralis base, and then it becomes Aquos as well when it's fused. That's actually really cool. But at the same time, it's also really weird. I do like the art, though. You can see kind of Batrix in the back there. 505, 10 to fuse, already not good. Oh, that. That's actually definitely the best art that I've seen compared to uh, compared to these. This is the best art for sure. But it's uh, 2208. Good cores, but 10 to fuse is just way too much. All right, let's take a look at some of the other cards that we actually get in the set. Firstly, the Gate Trainer. We got Cyrus on there. I'm pretty sure I actually already own this Gate Trainer, which is kind of funny, but you can see that there. And then for the cards, let's see what they do. Ooh, Shields of Astroya. Okay. Meteor Storm for three, plus four damage and draw one. Pyru Spark for three, plus 300 and double strike. This is definitely the superior three cost card. What's even better is that it's, uh, it's only one faction, so you don't need to be running Pyrus in order, you don't, or sorry, you don't need to run Darkest to play this. And I guess, like, even in Darkest decks, this wouldn't be too good, but, you know, Pyrus Spark, that's actually pretty decent. And then River of Darkness, Darkest for two, plus 600 and plus two damage. Wow, that's really, that's actually quite decent. It's, uh, I honestly think that's a little bit better than uh, this, but I suppose if you have a Bakugan with really high damage, this can be good for the double strike. All right, so here are the cores that we have here. Uh, a bunch of the different fusion cores, kind of unfortunate. Uh, that shield is trash, this is trash, this is trash. This might become good if fusions ever become good, because sure, it's 100 B power less than this, but you can run it in a deck that doesn't use fusions as well, I suppose. Yeah, honestly, none of these cores look to be too good, in my opinion. So everyone, that was my review of the Trox X Nobilius Darkest Auralis 3-pack, and... Yeah, um, I'm gonna be honest, this is probably one of the weaker three packs I've looked at recently. I love all three of these designs, but the cores aren't too good. Uh, the cards themselves are pretty cool, but the character cards for these Bakugan are not too good. None of these fusions really stand out. And in terms of designs, if you already have these designs, you don't really, you know, need to get it. Nonetheless, though, it was very, very enjoyable to finally get this guy and this guy. Uh, both of these designs are just fantastic. The detail on Trox Nobilius is just out of this world, and the fact that they referenced the original cores from Battle Planet with Fangs or Mantinoid is really great, and the color scheme for the Pyrus Darkest is also super duper cool. Hydrus Batrix is also amazing. I know I really gushed over that one in my video from early last week, so be sure to check out that one, but uh, yeah, in terms of three packs, I definitely have seen better ones. I personally think that the Feral Gillator pack 
he's a little bit better than this one, but nonetheless, I can still recommend this to anyone who loves these designs or these fusion color schemes because the colors on all three of these Bakugan are really quite fantastic. Anyway though, thank you so much for watching. I'm the Detective, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.